This gotta be the place. Here's a card. Playing cards. Yeah, a <laughs> whole stack of cards. A roller. It's missing a roller too, right? Yes. So, cable... Anything else we can use? The videotape, of course. So we're missing a cable. Let's look at the diagram again. So, oh, there are check marks. We need a gear, an audio cable and a bulb. So three more components. It keeps pointing me to that room. <laughs> what am I missing here? The what? The dirty glass? What? Okay, what's going on? What just happened, everybody? I press a button and something happened. I don't know what. Did we open up uh, the panel? Yeah, maybe that's it. We opened up the panel. Okay. Okay, let's look at the map here. <laughs> we, we are missing a lot of morphing objects. It's like one in each screen. <laughs> and collection items too. Wow, a whole bunch of items we are missing right now. So, let's go find some... Oh, the, the projector screen! Aha! Uh -huh. Any extra items? There's one! Right here, moving objects. Anything else? We do need to wipe the glass, but it has to be wet. That is the problem. We don't, don't have the clue yet for this puzzle. Okay. Oh, we're going back there, huh? Can we get water from here? <laughs> oh, there is water! There's a faucet! Oh, I forgot! Okay. There we go. Going back to the mini theater. Finally, there's another time. What is that time? Uh, to 155. 155. Right? Or is it 1105? <laughs> no. Huh? What? 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 That's not the right time. How is this not the right time? Hold on. Twelve fifty-five. Oh wait, wait. Hold on here, guys. Hold on. It's two o'clock. <laughs> it's two o'clock. The angle is not correct. It's two o'clock. Oh, is it 12.10? 12 <laughs> 12.10? 12 is, that, is that the right time? What the heck? Why is it not working? That's 12. 2 o'clock. Definitely 2 o'clock. 
And it's not working, guys. It's not working. Two o'clock. It's not working. <laughs> Why? Maybe that's time number three. That's what it is. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. Let me look at this again. It won't let me look at that again. <laughs> that was confusing. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway. Back in the projection room. Alright, there is probably another time here. <laughs> another one. Okay, this is 12... 40. 12 40. That one worked. Nippers. Angle bracket figurine. Angle bracket. So it goes into the medallion. Right? Still missing a G. Alright, back to the map here. Uh, there are two bonus items on this screen. <laughs> there's a moving object and there's a collection item. Okay, we got that one. Where is a moving object? A gear! Oh, I didn't even know that it opens up. There is a moving object. The pattern. Got it. Also missed two items here. <laughs> I missed two items here. The vinyl record. We got all of them all. We got all the records. Six out of six. And there's a moving object. The picture. The pot of plants. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> also missed two of them here. Oh, I need to get at least one of them. There we go. These are patterns. Yeah. The collection items. So, the only thing we haven't done is the portrait here. I don't see any hotspots on the picture. The G? The letter G. It goes on the medallion. So I guess he's pretty important guy, huh? Maybe the founder of the order. <laughs> That's why there's a picture of him. Did it activate the medallion using the ring? Wow, a working medallion. Sheet of paper. That's the clue for the puzzle, the dancing puzzle. Using the buttons, drag the film so that it matches the stance of design. Using the buttons, so I need to get the right figure, like that one. Pretty simple, uh, simple then. A projection above. We pull one in. Missing a gear. Where do I put the light bulb? Here. 
Okay. There's still a cable missing. The protection cable. There we go. Scissors. Need to check what's wrong with the speaker. We are supposed to glue the speaker together because it's ripped. Maybe cut the piece. The fitting piece, and then we glue it together. <laughs> wow. So, everything is set. Ready? Go! A nice relaxing time, finally. <laughs> this Plague Doctor mask dates back to the period of the Great Epidemics. The identity of its original owner could not be determined. However, it has been suggested that this man was not an ordinary doctor. It is believed he was an alchemist and performed mystical and occult practices, including worship of the Dark Forces. The history of the mask remains a mystery, but one thing is certain. The mask possesses special power and is a dangerous artifact able to enslave minds. In several consecutive cases, individuals who were left in contact with the mask for prolonged periods became extremely obsessive about it. Furthermore, it has been found that the mask endows its wearer with supernatural abilities. Most dangerously, the mask inspires the wearer with genocidal tendencies, wow. believing humanity to be a plague on the planet. The specific destructive methods employed are defined by the wearer. If he is a firefighter, he will seek to set others on fire. A chemist will try poison. Military will kill directly. Interesting. The study of the mask was conducted by two members of the order, in collaboration with representatives of the Institute of a large pharmaceutical company. The study was short-lived, however, as it was deemed too dangerous, and all experimentation was discontinued. More detailed information on the progress and results of the study are set out in the report, case number 001252. I can't find anything on Travis. Maybe he used an alias. That guy in the last photo in the video. Could that be him? Mm. It looks we like I saw it. this photo among the papers. What if we assume that Travis worked for the same institute that once helped the representatives of our order? Well, it's not impossible. Let's head out there and find out. It's best you go by yourself. You'll be much quicker without me. And I'll call Will and ask him to join you there. Take Travis's picture with you. Supposed to be meeting with a person here to give him urgent samples from another branch, but I don't have his name saved. I only have this photo. Oh yeah, I've seen him. I think he worked on developing vaccinations. His lab is in that red building on the second floor. Thank you. No problem. But actually, I haven't seen him in a while. And as you can see, we're undergoing some renovations. You're unlikely to find him in his regular spot. New task, find Travis's office. A barrel of acid. So, okay. Shouldn't bother the employee unnecessarily. Is he some kind of a. Uh, I don't know. What is with the van? There are some huge pipes at the top. All kind of chemicals at the top. So, what is he doing? <laughs> what kind of worker is he? Hmm. Maybe 
he deals with this toxic sewage. <laughs> it looks like this tip is not the one from the fountain. How can I twist it off? Window handle. 